Why have you decided now that enough is enough? Well, I guess it's something that the band has been reasonably vocal about for a certain amount of time. And um, I think in response to the video, that to me just seemed ludicrous, really, because I'm a 27-year-old woman wearing a mini dress with wet look hair. If you don't like it, that's fine. But there's a difference between criticism and hatred, I think. Um, and I guess at this point, we're aware that we're lucky enough to have a certain audience for our band. And although we get the cyber misogyny on a certain level because of visibility, this happens to women all the time anyway. And I hate the idea that young girls who follow our band, who deal with stuff like that, don't feel like... I don't want them to feel isolated. I don't want them to feel like it's just happening to them because it happens everywhere. And I don't think that the just ignore it and it'll go away argument is working. Or grow a thicker skin is what people say. Yes, yes. I mean, how, how do you hope to change the culture? Is that realistic? Well, people say to us a lot, well, how are you going to fix it? If you're complaining about it, how are you going to fix it? And I guess to me, it's scary, the idea of lawmakers coming in and sifting through comments and deciding what is acceptable and what isn't. And it's unrealistic to expect companies to do that. And I guess, in my mind, there has to be a shift in the cultural approach to women. And that will take time because change is always partial and it's always by degree. But... Um, so society's got to change? I think so. And I guess, to me, it's always s sadly predictable when you're like this, we fall back on the base argument. If you don't like what a woman is doing, you don't like her opinion, you don't like what, what it is that she represents, then you fall back on the basic caveman arguments of threatening with physical and sexual violence because it's your trump card because that's the way you get somebody to shut up. And I just think that's a very sad state of affairs to be living in. What kind of impact has all this abuse had on you? Um, I think initially, when we first started to become more visible, it did take a psychological toll, because people say, oh, just don't look at it, but it's, you know, the most hateful stuff comes at us on the internet, but it's, you know, the way the media represents you, what people say it shows, and it just, it was weird to go from living in a reasonably cosy life where most people share similar opinions to me to being in this environment where people talk about you as a woman like that. Um, but I guess for me, I feel like I've got to a point where it's helpful to me to have the persona, so I have like, well, this personally is... Somebody tweeted me the other day, if you can't learn to deal with this, you'll sh stick a gun in your mouth before the record even comes out. I have one I'll give to you. And personally, that's horrifying, because if somebody put that through your door, then you could legitimately go to the police about that. But I guess in my head, I was like, well, this is on the internet, people can see it. How would the band persona respond to this? And then it's helpful to have that to do, I think. People have lots of different ways of dealing with trolls, don't they? I mean, some just say, just ignore it. I mean, the classicist Mary Beard went and met her troll yeah. and actually ended up being friends. I mean, some people call in the police. Which of those three is most well, successful? I guess when people say, don't feed the trolls, like, you're, you're just making it worse. And maybe to an extent, because we've spoken out a bit more, I paint a target on my back because people think they'll get a response. But to me, it's not necessarily you responding that trolls want. They want to scare and they want to intimidate and they want to silence people. So ignoring it to me doesn't make a difference. And I can hand on heart tell you that we get just as many of those comments when I wear a baggy t-shirt and shorts at a gig as when I wear a dress in a video. So to me, it isn't necessarily even based on what you're doing in that particular moment, so. I'm really sorry we have to leave it there, but Lauren Mabry, no. thank you very much for coming and telling us about that. Thank you.